After a serious car crash near the Winona State Campus, sophomore Mackenzie Sinner spent weeks in the hospital as doctors put her shattered skull back together with pins and plates. Yesterday, Mackenzie was discharged from the hospital and returned to her family's home near Blaine. They spoke with our Babs Santos tonight. Obviously, I wouldn't wish this upon anybody, but it, I think it has made me stronger. This is not how Mackenzie Sinner thought her sophomore year at Winona State University would be going. Just days into the spring semester, her life changed in a flash. Uh, I don't remember anything. One moment, Mackenzie was walking to class. Then suddenly, she was clinging to her life, being airlifted to a lacrosse hospital after being struck by a car near campus on January 20th. Going through this has been hard to be positive and hard to be uh, tough. For nearly a week, Mackenzie's mother, Julie, sat by her daughter's side in the hospital until she woke up. I was so afraid we weren't going to know her, she wasn't going to know us or not remember a lot of things. Now, 27 days later, after skull and leg surgeries, on Tuesday, Mackenzie returned to her family home in the North Metro, greeted by this surprise waiting outside. Thousands of people were praying for us, and we know that that is what has gotten her to this point so far. The crash has left her with a long road to recovery from broken bones. A tibia, fibula, and her lower leg. To a skull fracture. He said it's like your, her skull is like an eggshell. Now many things that most of us take for granted have become a new source of frustration for the 19-year-old. Putting my shoes on, my, my one shoe, is hard. Outpatient physical therapy is just beginning, and it'll have all of her focus. She's taken a semester off from school, but her goal is to get back to the classroom by this summer. Thankful to be alive and determined to make the most of this second chance at life. Bab Santos, Fox 9.